Evolution of Strange Dinosaurs Part 1 In this issue we will talk about the evolution of the strangest dinosaurs that existed on Earth. Dilophosaurus was one of the earliest large carnivorous theropod dinosaurs that lived in the early Jurassic about 193 million years ago. This lizard left its fossilized remains mainly in the territory of modern North America, Arizona, USA. The genus name translates as two-crested lizard because of the characteristic two bony ridges on the head. Dilophosaurus was relatively large for its era. According to various estimates, the length of an adult individual could reach 23 feet and the weight could be about 300 to 450 kilograms. It had the light and slender build characteristic of early large theropods. The most noticeable feature is the two curved, ridge-like bony projections on the skull. They were located above the eyes and stretched along the top of the head. The ridges were hollow and rather thin, and were unlikely to be used for combat, rather, they were visual insignia used in display behavior during courtship, social interaction, or for identifying relatives. Dilophosaurus's teeth were pointed and recurved, adapted for a carnivorous diet. Most likely, it was a predator or scavenger, hunting small and medium-sized vertebrates, and could also feed on the remains of larger animals. Several features of the skull and jaws indicate that it was not as powerful a predator as later, larger theropods, but was excellent at quickly capturing and tearing apart small prey. Dilophosaurus was a bipedal dinosaur. It walked on powerful hind limbs, but the forelimbs were shorter and were probably used for grasping or holding prey. Its light build suggests that it could have been a fairly fast and agile predator. He lived during the early Jurassic era, when the landscapes were warm in relatively humid areas with rivers, lakes, and an abundance of vegetation. At that time, the giant dinosaurs characteristic of the late Jurassic and Cretaceous had not yet formed, and Dilophosaurus was one of the dominant predators of its time. Dilophosaurus became known to a wide audience thanks to the film Jurassic Park, where it was depicted as a small dinosaur capable of spitting venom and having an expendable collar. This is a work of fiction. There is no scientific evidence for either toxic saliva or the folding collar. In fact, the real Dilophosaurus was much larger and did not have similar adaptations. Dilophosaurus is an important link in understanding the evolution of large theropods. Its morphology shows transitional features between the more primitive coelophosoids of the Triassic period and the later, better known large ex-Jurassic seekers. It helps to understand how the anatomy and ecology of early theropods changed and how various adaptations were formed in the dynamic ecosystem of the early Jurassic time. Thus, Dilophosaurus is a remarkable carnivorous dinosaur of the early Jurassic, important for understanding the evolution of carnivorous forms, and also leaving a vivid mark on popular culture. Sussusaurus is a genus of Therizinosaurus, Therizinosauroidea, unusual theropod dinosaurs discovered in early Cretaceous deposits in Asia. Its name is derived from the ancient name Suzhou, the ancient name of the city of Jiuquan, in Gansu Province, China, where the fossils were found. Sussusaurus is one of those rare theropod dinosaurs that transition to a herbivorous or omnivorous lifestyle. Sussusaurus lived during the early Cretaceous period, approximately 125 million years ago, in what is now northwestern China. Its fossils are found in rocks of the Zinmenpu group, which preserve the remains of many other Cretaceous dinosaurs and vertebrates. Sussowers were distinguished by the following features barrel-shaped body, wide body, elongated forelimbs with large, curved claws, a small skull with a beak and leaf-shaped teeth adapted to eating vegetation, feather-like cover, 
Although the remains of Sesosaurus are known in fragments, based on the found bones and comparative analysis with close relatives, the following can be said. It was a relatively large Therizinosauroid, judging by the massiveness of the bones discovered. The shape of the limbs, the structure of the pelvis and vertebrae indicate typical adaptations for the group to a relatively slow terrestrial lifestyle. The long claws on the forelimbs probably helped it to pull or tear off plant food, and could also perform demonstrative or protective functions. Sussosaurus, like other Therizinosaurus, fed primarily on plants, leaves, shoots, fruits. Its dental system appears to have been adapted to grinding plant material. The wide body could accommodate an extensive digestive tract necessary for the digestion of difficult to digest plant foods. The findings of Sesosaurus are of great importance for understanding the evolution of Therizinosaurus from earlier and more primitive forms to more specialized ones. It helps to better illuminate the phylogenetic relationships within the group and understand how carnivorous ancestors switched to herbivory. These data are important for reconstructing early Cretaceous ecosystems and the evolution of unusual adaptations in theropod dinosaurs. Sesosaurus is an interesting example of how a separate line arose among carnivorous dinosaurs, adapted to feeding on plant foods, and what a variety of forms it could weather to find ancient Coalurosaurus. Ostrich-like dinosaurs, which usually include Ornithomimosaurus, got their name due to their external resemblance to modern ostriches. They had long legs, a light build, a long neck and a relatively small head with a beak without teeth, which made their appearance vaguely similar to ostrich birds. However, it is important to remember that ornithomimosaurs were not birds, they only independently acquired a similar body structure for fast-running plan. Most had thin, long hind limbs adapted for fast running. They had long necks and relatively small heads. The forelimbs were usually quite long, with three toes. The claws could have been small and not adapted for predation. Early forms had teeth, for example, Pelicanimimus, but many later forms, Ornithomimus, Struthiomimus, Galimimus, were toothless and had a horned beak. The diet was most likely omnivorous or herbivorous, possibly feeding on seeds, fruits, small animals, and insects. The presence of gastroliths, stomach stones, in some species confirms a herbivorous slash omnivorous diet. In recent years, fossils have been discovered indicating the presence of feathers in some ornithomimosaurs, for example, ornithomimus. These were not flight feathers but rather a downy covering, possibly serving for thermoregulation or displays during the mating season. Ornithomimosaurs were widespread during the Cretaceous in Asia, North America, and possibly some other regions. They lived in a variety of landscapes, plains, floodplains, wooded areas. Ornithomimosaurs belonged to the subgroup of Coalurosaurs, advanced theropod dinosaurs, which also includes Tyrannosaurs, Maniraptors, a group that includes Therizinosaurs, Oviraptorosaurs, Dromaeosaurs, and birds themselves. Evolutionarily, they moved away from the more predatory Coalurosaurs and acquired a morphology adapted to rapid movement and eating plant or mixed food. Pelicanimimus, Early Cretaceous, Spain one of the earliest and most primitive representatives, it had many small teeth in its mouth. Harpimimus, early Cretaceous, Mongolia. The intermediate form, which combined primitive and advanced features, had few teeth in the anterior part of the lower jaw. Ornithomimus, late Cretaceous, North America. A typical representative of the group, toothless beak, long hind limbs, Struthiomimus, late Cretaceous, North America. Very similar to Ornithomimus, one of the most fully studied genera. Galimimus, late Cretaceous, Mongolia. A large representative, known from mass graves in the Nemegd Formation. 
His appearance is widely known thanks to popular culture. For example, the film Jurassic Park. Anserimimus, Late Cretaceous, Mongolia. It has more robust forelimbs than many other ornithomimids. Dromaciamus, Late Cretaceous, North America. A very fast runner, similar in structure to other ornithomimids. Deanochiris morificus is an unusual ornithomimosaur. Although Deanochiris is also an ornithomimosaur, it stands out for its gigantic size, massive body, huge hands with large claws, and a duck-like beak. It lived during the late Cretaceous period in Mongolia and reached about 36 feet in length. Unlike its more graceful ostrich-like counterparts, Deanochiris was much more bulky. Archaeornithomimus, Late Cretaceous, Habitat Asia, Primitive Ornithomimid, Sinornithomimus, Late Cretaceous, China, well known from findings of juveniles and adults, which helps in the study of social behavior. Cupolong, Late Cretaceous, China, a recently described genus of ornithomimids. There is no information about him yet. Ornithischian dinosaurs, Ornithischians, Ornithischians are a large branch of herbivorous dinosaurs that arose in the late Triassic, early Jurassic. These include such groups Pachycephalosaurs, Ceratopsians, Thyreophora, Stegosaurs, and Ankylosaurs. Ornithopods. Gryposaurus belonged to the Ornithopods, and it was the Ornithopods that became the key group leading to the appearance of Hadrosaurids. Iguanodontids, early to mid Cretaceous, large ornithopods such as Iguanodon and its relatives became the dominant herbivorous dinosaurs, having massive hind limbs, developed dental batteries, and the ability to walk on all fours. Hadrosauroids and Hadrosaurids, Cretaceous. From Iguanodontids came a more advanced branch Hadrosauroids, which in late Cretaceous period led to the appearance of Hadrosauridae, Hadrosauridae, often called duck-billed dinosaurs. They had a flattened front portion of the snout, reminiscent of a duck's beak, and complex dental batteries that allowed them to effectively chew plant food. Hadrosaurids are divided into two large subgroups. Lambiosaurines, Lambiosaurini, with hollow bony crests on the head, for example, Parasaurolophus, Carithosaurus, Saurolophini. Previously, they were called Hadrosaurines, which had no or weak bony decoration on the head. These are Saurolophus, Edmontosaurus, Brachylophosaurus. Saurolophines include many genera with varying skull and beak shapes. Among them were forms with ridges of various shapes or almost without them. They were among the most common large herbivorous dinosaurs in the late Cretaceous of North America and Asia. Genus Gryposaurus, Late Cretaceous. Gryposaurus was a saurolophonine hadrosaurid that lived in North America during the late Cretaceous. Its distinguishing feature was the curved nasal bone, forming a characteristic humpback arch above the beak. It was a large herbivorous dinosaur that walked primarily on four limbs, but could stand on its hind limbs if necessary. Gryposaurus is a typical representative of the late Cretaceous fauna of North America. It inherited all the key adaptations of ornithopods and hadrosaurids, such as duck-billed beak for cutting vegetation, complex dental batteries for thorough chewing of food, massive hind limbs and the ability to walk four-legged. Widely distributed offspring and the ability to engage in social behavior in herds. The final evolutionary line. Archosaurs first dinosaurs Ornithischian dinosaurs, Ornithischians, Ornithopods Iguanodontids Hadrosauroids Hadrosaurids Saurolophines Gryposaurus. This is the general scheme of the evolutionary predecessors of Gryposaurus. Each stage is a transition to increasingly specialized herbivorous forms, and the exact relationships and specific intermediate species often remain the subject of research. Thanks for watching our video. Give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. Subscribe if you haven't already.
and also press the bell so as not to miss new and interesting videos from the channel Real Unreal.